This is the President of the Republic of Uganda and the Commander-in-Chief of the Uganda People's Defense Forces, the Honorable Minister of Defense and Veteran Affairs, the Permanent Secretary, the Chief Executive Officer of Proheli, and all your partners um, gathered here, the service commanders who are present here today, Your Excellency, we have uh, Lieutenant General Kayanja Muhanga, Commander Land Forces, Lieutenant General Charles Otema, Commander Reserve Forces, the Managing Director, NEC, the General Manager, Luero Industries Limited, all the other general officers here today, the senior officers, militants of the UPDF fraternity, all invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. I want to add my voice, Your Excellency, first of all, to welcome you to Preheli headquarters, but also to wholeheartedly thank you for dedicating your precious time to the commissioning of our first Mi-24 helicopter, which has been overhauled here and upgraded here in our own Nakasongola maintenance repair and overhaul plant. Your Excellency, today here, our Ministry of Defense and Veteran Affairs and UPDF partners, that's Proheli International Services Limited, a joint venture between Luero Industries and Bosasa Logistics, are ready together with NEC to deliver this helicopter fully overhauled and upgraded. Congratulations, Proheli. Hongera <clears throat> sana. It is a landmark in the history of the aviation of our country and our own defense industries because it is the first helicopter of this very type to be overhauled and upgraded here in Africa, south of the Sahara. We truly attach great significance to the occasion and thus have all the reasons to thank Your Excellency, like others have mentioned, for your visionary leadership and guidance to constantly give us and guide us. And this is the reason we are witnessing the fruition of this very facility that you commissioned in January 2022. Your Excellency, with this facility, we are now able to offer technical services for sustainment of our air assets of the Ministry of Defense and other clients within Africa and beyond. Indeed, they are already showing interest. Uh, for us who have been moving around, they have been asking about this facility. Your Excellency, this facility comes at a time when we are very firm in Your Excellency's guidance on the workability of the doctrine of the tripartite, that any genuine assistance must seek to build internal capacity like we are witnessing today. You heard that 18 of the technicians working on this, in this facility here are our very own from the Air Force 
of Uganda People's Defense Forces. This assists build internal capacity in the area of defense military security capabilities enhancement. Your Excellency, with the unwarranted interference in global free trade, leading to scarcity of spare parts, rampant bogus parts on the market, and reduced air serviceability that we were witnessing, you guided us on the need for self-sustainment. And as they say, as you commissioned the first aircraft helicopter to be overhauled from here, the rest is history. Uh, General Mujira and the Chief of Staff um, Air Force dwelt on the, on the uh, advantages of having such a facility here. I would just like to point out the biggest takeaway for UPDF and the Minister of Defense from here is self-reliance. Self-reliance that we can no longer be bulldozed around because we have our own facility here to use to keep us in the air. Obviously, the second biggest takeaway is combat readiness because of aircraft availability due to the reduced turnaround. This is another very, very um, big achievement. You can imagine taking our aircrafts to Belarus or wherever, and they are there for two years when we have work for them here. Now, repairing these ones here is a, a contribution you, Your Excellency had that um, from uh, E.D. Proheli that he is now employing 200 um, Ugandans here and uh, this is uh, another big uh, achievement for us because it plays into the broader economic um, expectations of Ugandans. Your Excellency, this facility will also be available to our brothers in need of the same services and this certainly promotes our defense diplomacy with these other countries that we will be dealing with to bring um, uh, their own aircrafts here for overhaul. Your Excellency, allow me to thank a number of like-minded patriotic stakeholders who have been crucial in delivering our desired objective and uh, I would be um, I would have uh, robbed you, as Excellency, the chance if I don't put you as number one on the people to thank because of the strategic guidance and uh, keeping in touch with these partners with whom who have made us able to bring this facility here. I also want to thank the Minister of Defense and Veteran Affairs the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Defense and Veteran Affairs, the UPDF Fraternity, especially the Air Force, who have been keen on what is going on here because the instance of keeping, of, 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 of having these aircrafts is air safety. Your Excellency, I would also like to thank General Mujira, who is a, a 
the MD neck and uh, has been able with your guidance and the strategic guidance from the UPDF to look out for some of these ventures that have eventually brought us Proheli and other um, and other companies, Choga Dynamics uh, and others, which will uh, certainly contribute a lot to our economic growth. I want to once again thank Proheli, led by uh, the Chief Aid and uh, others. And I also want to thank the guests who have come here to witness um, uh, this uh, important event. This obviously plays in the growth of Uganda's defense industry capabilities and obviously will have spillover benefits for the broader economy as has already been uh, um, mentioned and will also lead to increased capability for other national manufacturing priorities like your excellency had that they are embarking on production of uh, electronic um, parts, uh, manufacturing of spares, and also repairing of major components of the aircraft. In conclusion, Your Excellency, uh, once again, I want to congratulate Proheli for this uh, uh, big milestone in the history of uh, the Ministry of Defense's um, defense industry. And all those who spent sleepless nights to bring home this capacity. Once again, I want to take this, my, uh, it's my pleasure to thank Your Excellency and all the invited guests for gracing this, gracing this occasion with uh, your presence. God bless all of you for God and my country. <laughs>